502 Insights, where we talk about a little bit of everything. Step one is take fingernail polish remover and remove any residue that may be on the top of your nails. Even if you don't have fingernail polish on them, it's still a good idea to do this to make sure there's nothing on the tops of your nails. Next, you're gonna take your fingernail file and shape your nails to your desired shape. All right, after you're done shaping your nails, you're gonna take your buffer and just go over the top of each nail, making sure you get all the way from the cuticle to the very tip and just get the surface a little bit rough so that everything sticks well to your nails. Okay, after you're done buffing your nails, you're gonna wash your hands really well, and then you're gonna take your nail polish remover and go over your nails one more time before we get started. Okay, then you're gonna start with number one, which is your base. You're gonna open that, and you're gonna get out whatever color of dip you wanted to use. And we're gonna open that. So you're gonna take your base, and you're gonna put on a nice even coat from the bottom of your nail to the top, without touching the sides of your skin. Then you're gonna take your nail, you're gonna put it into the powder at an angle, dip it all the way into the powder, and tap off the excess. You can continue, continue doing that for the rest of the nails on your hand. And you're gonna go back to the first one and do the same steps over again. Make sure if there's any edges or pieces that are not covered with a dipping powder that you get the number one base on there so it will adhere to your nail. If you have any extra on your cuticle or anything, now's the time to try and pick that off before you set it in with the activator.
Okay, now we're done with that step for this hand. So we're gonna open our number four, the brush saver, and we're gonna remove that brush and take the brush from our base and sit that in there for a little bit, just so that brush doesn't harden to where it can't be used again. Now, we're gonna make sure all the edges of our nail are clear. Pick off anything that's on there that's stuck to our cuticles or the side of our nail bed. And then we're gonna take our number two, which is the activator, and go over top of each nail and make sure you completely cover the nail with that. And now we're going to take our brush out of the brush saver and place that back in after we wipe it off into our base bottle. And then we're going to place our activator brush into the brush saver bottle. Okay, after you do your activator, you're going to take your buffer and you're going to go over top of each nail and buff that out so that it's nice and smooth. You shouldn't be able to see any variation in the nail color. It should all feel nice and smooth. No bumps, no waves. And you're gonna do this for each nail. And if it's sticking up any over the edge of your nail, do that also. All right, next you can take your brush out of your brush saver and place that back into the activator. And we're gonna take our number three top coat. You see our nails are nice and buffed. Turn them into a dull color, but that will change once we put on our top coat. So we're just gonna completely and evenly go over the nail with the top coat and make sure you get the very tip edge. See how much more shiny it's become? We're gonna do every one of these nails and then we're gonna place this brush into the brush saver. We're gonna wait three to five minutes and then we're gonna do one more coat for a total of two coats of the top layer. Then after that, this hand will be done and you can proceed with your other hand. All right, folks, there you go. Salon quality dip nails at home, nice and easy. Please like, share, leave me a comment. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.